What's up, sons? It's Blind Run with Son of a Tech, and there have been some questions or at least accusations been thrown around, and we need to figure out what the best RX480 cooling solution is, and we're going to go ahead and test that out today, and I'm going to be comparing the Gaming X from MSI to the GTR from XFX, and I feel it's safe enough to say that throughout most of the comments on the video for the Nitro Plus from Sapphire and from my own personal experience that it is so far off from these two cards that we don't need to necessarily throw that into the ring. So stick around, let's take a look. Alrighty, so there are a few things that we have to get figured out here if we're going to be putting these cards head to head. One is going to be clock speed. Unfortunately, it's hard to get two cards that always have the exact same clock speed. Even if I would have gotten the black edition for the GTR, we would have only been seeing 1332, I believe it is while the Gaming X goes ahead and ramps up to like 1340, 1343, somewhere around there. So the best thing to do is to go ahead and go off of the lowest clock speed. And since the fans are about the same on the Black Edition as they are on the regular Hard Swap GTR, I think it's safe to say that the cooling should be about the same. So the GTR is clocked at 1288 megahertz. So we went ahead and down clocked the MSI Gaming X to 1200. 188. The voltage was left at stock and the power consumption was left at stock. Because of this we're actually pulling or it shows in GPU-Z that we're pulling 140 on the GTR while on the Gaming X we are pulling closer to 240. Keep in mind that there are more sensors on the Gaming X board for power consumption than there are on the GTR which only has a sensor for the GPU itself. Now if you wanted to know the kilowatt shows about the same power consumption for both of these cards. Clock speeds and voltages out of the way with the GPU Z shots for you guys. Let's go ahead and talk numbers here. We're going to start out at 40%, which is 1550 RPMs on the Gaming X edition. And then we went ahead and bumped it up to 42% on the XFX to get it to a solid 1569 RPMs. We can never get these to be exactly the same, unfortunately. That's pretty difficult to do, but this is close enough. Okay, so at these numbers, the MSI Gaming X ran Firestrike stress test 20 passes and during that time only reached a peak temperature of 65 degrees Celsius. The XFX GTR hard swap fans at its 1569 RPMs hit a peak temperature of 88 degrees Celsius. Obviously at the lower fan speeds, the MSI Gaming X takes the win pretty handily. This is probably thanks to the additional copper pipes that come out. Mmm, copper pipes. As well as fans that cover a wider surface area. Moving up to 2650 RPMs, the MSI Gaming X hit a max temperature of 60 degrees Celsius, while the XFX GTR hit a max temperature of 70 degrees Celsius. Now here's where it gets interesting. The reason the 2650 RPM number is in here is because that is actually the max speed of the fans on the MSI. While on the GTR, the rate goes a lot higher and a hundred percent fan speed it hits closer to 3800 rpms now at this number the gtr actually matches the gaming x's full cooling potential at hitting 60 degrees celsius albeit at a very much higher rate on the fan speed and you sacrifice noise for that so the question was which cooling solution is better if you're talking about purely just max cooling potential, the cards are on par together. If you're talking about overall best cooling potential at all ranges of speed on the fans, obviously the Gaming X is going to take the win here. I would also like to make a note that this is my second GTR, not my first, and that yes, it is not the Black Edition. However, the Black Edition is probably going to have higher temperatures.
temperatures because of its higher clock speeds. Some of the downsides of the Gaming X Edition are going to be lack of a dual BIOS switch as well as non-removable fans. So if that's your thing, then of course the GTR is the way to go. And I don't think you're going to have any major problems there. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you next Tuesday.